in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O God, creator and redeemer of the human nature, who will that your word should take flesh in an ever virgin womb, look with favor on our prayers that your only begotten Son, having taken to himself our humanity, may be pleased to grant us a share in his divinity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. Judges 13 verses 2 to 7 and 24 to 25. There was a certain man from Zorah, of the clan of the Danites, whose name was Manoah. His wife was barren and had borne no children. An angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Though you are barren and have had no children, yet you will conceive and bear a son. Now, then, be careful to take no wine or strong drink, and to eat nothing unclean. As for the son you will conceive and bear, no razor shall touch his head. For this boy is to be consecrated to God from the womb. It is he who will begin the deliverance of Israel. From the power of the Philistines. The woman went and told her husband. A man of God came to me. He had the appearance of an angel of God, terrible indeed. I did not ask him where he came from, nor did he tell me his name. But he said to me, you will be with child and will bear a son. So take neither wine nor strong drink, and eat nothing unclean. For the boy shall be consecrated to God from the womb. Until the day of his death. The woman bore a son and named him Samson. The boy grew up and the Lord blessed him. The Spirit of the Lord stirred him. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. Be my rock of refuge. A stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. For you are my hope, O Lord. My trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb you are my strength. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. I will treat of the mighty works of the Lord. O God, I will tell of your singular justice. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. Alleluia, Alleluia. O root of Jesse's stem. Sign of God's love for all his people. Come to save us without delay. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the days of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah, of the priestly division of Abijah. His wife was from the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. 
both were righteous in the eyes of God. Observing all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blamelessly. But they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren. And both were advanced in years. Once when he was serving as priest. In his divisions turned before God. According to the practice of the priestly service. He was chosen by lot. To enter the sanctuary of the Lord to burn incense. Then, when the whole assembly of the people was praying outside. At the hour of the incense offering, the angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right of the altar of incense. Zechariah was troubled by what he saw, and fear came upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, because your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall name him John, and you will have joy and gladness and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He will drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit even from his mother's womb. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of fathers toward children and the disobedient to the understanding of the righteous, to prepare a people fit for the Lord. Then Zechariah said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is advanced in years. And the angel said to him in reply, I am Gabriel, who stand before God. I was sent to speak to you and to announce to you this good news. But now you will be speechless and unable to talk. Until the day these things take place. Because you did not believe my words. Which will be fulfilled at their proper time. Meanwhile the people were waiting for Zechariah. And were amazed that he stayed so long in the sanctuary. But when he came out, he was unable to speak to them. And they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He was gesturing to them but remained mute. Then, when his days of ministry were completed, he went home. After this time his wife Elizabeth conceived. And she went into seclusion for five months, saying, So has the Lord done for me at a time when he has seen fit. To take away my disgrace before others. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hand. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. The praise and glory of his name, for our good and good all of his holy church. Sanctify these gifts of your church, O Lord, and grant that through these venerable mysteries we may be nourished with the bread of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling, John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominion, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing to him of your glory, as without end we acclaim. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of you. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by these divine gifts, Almighty God, we ask you to grant our desire that aflame with your spirit we may shine like bright torches before your Christ when he comes, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.